Good morning to all of you. Welcome here to Uppsala, to Uppsala Castle. Shh. Ah, good. It works on students and you. So, my name is Maria Knutsson Vedel. I'm the Vice Chancellor of the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences, one of the partners in Uppsala Health Summit. And I must say that I arrived in Uppsala a little more than four years ago and being in participating in the steering group for Uppsala Health Summit was one of the tasks. At the first meeting, I wondered, what is this? Why, what am I doing here? I wondered about the purpose. And I have to say that it grows on me. During those four years, I can see that Uppsala Health Summit is something different. Uh, when we read on the homepage, it's a commitment. And the commitment is not only to share knowledge, but to be more active and proactive. It's to find the solutions that we can act on. It's to drive positive change. And the idea and the aim is that your insights, your personal insights, your discussions here during these days will make a difference. It can, it has the potential to play a critical role in policy making in shaping research agendas. And it's a collaborative effort. Because the challenges we face, they are complex. And wicked problems need a broad discussion and collaboration. So, so after those first meeting, now I think it's cool. It's something new, it's something different. And how do we make it happen? Well, yes, depending on the year, we are six to seven partners. And we have a fantastic group, which you will meet during these days, every year. They're keen, they work hard, and they are knowledgeable. They, they jointly work across the borders here in Uppsala. And in the broader perspective, it's called Uppsala Health, Council, Uppsala Health Summit, but I see that Uppsala is growing now to include more and more. So now we have to call it the Midwest, Mid-East Summit. So. so one of the most interesting things is the meeting where the committee, the steering group discuss, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna talk about next year? finding the right challenge that this summit can attack. So what competence do we have in common? Do we need someone else on board, a new partner? Can this challenge be formulated? Would it be useful to discuss it during the summit? And will it be attractive? Will people come? And I'm happy to see that you're so many that find this t topic, this theme, interesting and worth worthwhile to discuss. And something else that is really interesting is not in the beginning, it's in the end. Last year, I went, walked into the room where the dinner was in the evening. And the room was sort of vibrant because during the whole day, people have exchanged so much thoughts and discussions and talked so much. So I can feel that something had happened. I met them in the morning and I met them in the evening and there was a different bunch. So I really hope that will happen today, that you will be arriving to dinner completely exhausted and vibrant with new knowledge and new ideas. So I will not talk for long. But uh, to conclude, I will briefly men mention this year's theme. 
chemical pollution and one health from reactivity to proactivity. It is a difficult topic and I'm not an expert. I'm a physicist. But I remember as a child the first time in school where I heard the word dioxin. I remember the first time I read about mercury and young children. I remember the report in the 90s when I was expecting my first child. And I read that in some parts of the world, the mothers, they do, bury, they do carry their child in the womb for about one week longer because they are exposed to chemicals, which is not very helpful. So after reading Silent Spring as a young university student, I decided that I'm not an expert, I'm not a chemist, but I will stay in academia and I will teach. And I included the effects on environment in all my courses. I integrated in the knowledge the students should bring. So I would say that it's a small effort, but it shows that we can all do something no matter how small it is, it's the joint effort. So we know that the effects of harmful chemical exposure, it's long term. But the need for action is urgent and short term. So if we're going to address the triad of one health of humans, animals and environment, we need to talk now. So please, for the sake of all of us, work hard today and good luck with your effort. And I hope to meet you this evening completely exhausted, bringing a lot of new ideas and knowledge to take proactive action. So thank you for being here. <laughs>